For local Muslims, Ramadan is a month of compassion, renewal, community service, and forgiveness. Fasting during Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam, but for a Maple Grove man, fulfilling the requirements can be challenging. Reporter Sonia Goins explains. All right, let's go. Let's get the chest press going up. Amara Kamara right is a personal trainer and works out of the North Loop gym. There you go. Perfect. Right, let's go. The Maple Grove resident has helped people to get in shape for more than 20 go. years. Seven. Good. Two more. During the month of Ramadan, he works on strengthening his personal relationship with Allah. It's a very peaceful religion. In fact, in, in the Islamic religion, it say if you kill a single person, it means you have killed an entire village. Nice. Good. Bump it up. He says being a trainer can be difficult during the holy month. Let's burn it up, burn it up, let's go. Because Muslims right. are not allowed to eat or drink anything between sunrise and sunset. The sun doesn't come down in the Midwest until about 8.50, and every day until the Ramadan comes to an end, the time is going to keep increasing, and we're going to come closer to 9 o'clock before you break back. The top trainer also has to stay in shape and doesn't skip working out during the holy month. I put myself into the zone, getting ready to work out and getting excited to work out, regardless of have coffee or not, because this is something that I feel like is bringing me closer to God. Amara limits his workouts to the evening, near sundown, when he can break fast. Try to stay away from things that would dehydrate me. He doesn't mind giving up food, water, and other things. He says there's a purpose behind the sacrifices and suffering. To feel what the unfortunate feels, being hungry. And so I take it very serious. Amara leaves the gym several times a day to pray at Masjid Al Ansar Community Center in Brooklyn Center. During the last 10 days of the month, Muslims increase their prayers, some sleeping at the mosque, praying around the clock for grace and God's mercy. To appreciate what God has given me and to see the difference of people who are suffering because that's what Ramadan is all about. Sonia Goins, CCX News. Ramadan ends the evening of June 14th. The next morning, Muslims attend a special prayer service. Many people in the Northwest Metro are expected to worship at Brooklyn Middle School.